And it's only recently that the United Nations has come to recognize antimicrobial resistance as a global threat, especially in developing countries. Kenya has taken a lead in uh, addressing the issue of antimicrobial resistance. We need to be very, very careful that what we have currently available is maintained for purposes of keeping our livestock healthy and also uh, feeding the population. I'm happy to state that there are a number of farmers in this country that have taken up that challenge to produce their livestock in a manner that does not misuse antibiotics. We, we heard about it. There was a lot of an, an, uh, awareness with K Cameron. They had visited us and they told us about the problem. The last time we used antibiotic is six months back. We don't use them often. Maltritis, we had only once. We are using a milking machine. We do what the ocean liquid soap. The basic thing, no em safi. Mina is a kwadubia wa kulima evo. Usafi do it's the first thing. You may find a problem may have may be may need uh, just improvement of hygiene, not necessarily use of antibiotics. Uh, along with that, we encourage uh, good nutrition uh, and also minimize the stress, such that in that way we minimize chances of using antibiotics in our livestock. Kabla tujaleta kuku, huwa tunawosha iyo nyumba ya kuku na magandi. Tukiosha, do tunaleta kuku. Then, all of our compound, huwa tunaspray the magandi every week once. Process za kwa kuku, they are very simple. One, ni kring unres. Hafu meukishua kuku zako, wako wameka mahali safi. Mahali hakuna vumbi na hakuna matope. And your, your nyumba ya kuku, it's dry. Then another thing, we have only one worker who is allowed to enter nyumba ya kuku. Uo kuwa visitor, suwezi mkuruhusu, uingie kwa hiyo nyumba. Zile nguwa na kujenga nazo, siyo hizo za ingana ingega nazo kwa kuku. Anajua venya na anaanzia. So the first thing, she has to wash the automatic drinkers. Anatumia disinfectant, na anatumia na maji saa. Anatumia maji ya kisimu. Fizi na maali zinaka. There's a saying which says, prevention is better than cure. All places we are working, all places we are putting our cows, all places we are harvesting our milk should be very, very clean. If a place is very dirty, that is the root cause of all the microorganisms which bring diseases. And if there is any sickness, consult the veterinary doctors who are professional in terms of how to use the antimicrobial substances. We encourage our farmers to be getting in touch with us such so that uh, whenever there is a problem, we visit the farm, we take samples, we have our lab to come up with a proper diagnosis and be able to effectively administer the required treatment. The farmers and the food producers are really those at the cold face of addressing antimicrobial resistance. They're the ones that have to implement all the good practices, the advice that the rest of us are providing to them. Antimicrobial resistance is a challenge for all of us, but when we look at low and middle income countries, the challenges they face are even greater. They have a very high burden of disease already, they face huge infection pressure, and yet 
they're the ones who have the least capacity to deal with this. This is where the international community has a very important role to play. And FAO, together with the World Health Organization and the World Organization for Animal Health, are working together with the support of the Fleming Fund to implement a One Health approach in many low and middle income countries to help them address this issue. To the consumer, antimicrobial resistance is a big danger to themselves, their families and the public in general. I would say and urge consumers to demand quality products. In a nutshell, the issue of antimicrobial resistance cuts across many sectors. We need to work together to be able to address this issue from a One Health perspective.